I told her it's just, I told her I got the nickname just because I played basketball, not because I believe in Jesus. But I asked her, I'm thinking about is there is a God, if there is a God and heaven. And she told me the simple proof, proof of God. And I was very interested. And then I later, my friends, my schoolmates invited me to a meeting. And then I accepted Jesus. And I went through some study. Uh, and then I, I just became very excited. So basically, it's when I knew that there was God in heaven, instead of just living for you know, 80 years and then I'll die, no meaning in life. And, and when I found there was a God, I was very excited. And then I wanted to serve God. One year, within one year before, after I became a Christian, I said, there's so many people who don't know Jesus. I want to tell them about Jesus so they can have eternal life. And then later God opened the main way for me to be a pastor in a traditional church. I have one bachelor degree in Bible and two master degree in theology, in exegetical theology. That is, uh, uh, you know, studying the Bible to, you know, to explain the Bible, interpret the Bible. And, uh, but my ministry, I found that it's, that it's actually, I found that it's easier to bring people to Jesus than to raise up people who love God. I find it's very hard to raise up people to love God and to raise up people to serve God. Until 1998, 15 years after I was a pastor, the evangelist Carlos Anaconda uh, came from Argentina to Hong Kong, and there was a meeting. And then I saw people came out and accept prayer, and I went out. And the moment he touched me, I felt power like electricity enter me, and I felt great love, it's really overwhelming love flow into me. And I was so overwhelmed, and I cried for a long time. I said, I didn't know I can experience God like that. I can have that close relationship. And the first thought is, I want to keep this relationship. And the second thought was, I want to be like Him too. I want to be able to help people to experience God so that their life can be changed. And, and uh, just a few days, one of my church members asked me to cast out demons from her because she went to the same meeting and she found she had evil spirit. But she was afraid to go out to receive prayer. So she asked me to do it. I said, I never do it before. But I did it for her. And then she said, I felt power. And I prayed for other people. They also said that. And so after that, I prayed for different people. Their life was changed. And uh, they were motivated to serve God. And sickness were healed and demons driven out. And people were raised up to serve God. And my whole life was changed. My spiritual life was changed. I became more sensitive to sin. I want to clean myself of all sins. And also, I want to dedicate my whole life to God. That, you know, now I'm 66 and I want to live to 100 or more. <laughs> so I can serve longer to bless more people. And at the same time, God gave me many, many uh, uh, new teachings that I never had before that I could raise some people to serve God. So that's a brief story of mine. Mm -hmm. And then in this last few years, I came back to Hong Kong and I started to go overseas. And up, when I go to one country, they would say, can you go to other countries? Can you come back again? So it opened the door for me to go to different places, to mainly to bring revival and to train people to serve God. And I'm going to answer this question about how to raise up leadership in the church. Now, now when I bring people to Jesus, I always uh, do it in a few ways together. I listen to a person, to their needs, like many people are sad, unhappy, burdened, uh, worries, and have family problems, all kinds of problems. So I listen to them. And I also use counseling skill. I will listen to them and and guide them to understand how they are and do they want to get out of it? How uh, do, do they have ways to overcome it? And then if they don't, I will guide them to find ways how to overcome it. And then I will tell them, do you know God can bless you right now? If you have sleeping problems, you have worries, you have burdens, you have unhappy feelings, God can bless you now. And then I will ask them to, you know, is it okay I, I pray for you? And most people, if you are trained, 
how to have the anointing of God and lead the person also to open the heart to God and then pray for them. Most people would experience the peace or the burdens go away, the peace of God or comfort or the love of God or uh, healing or demons driven out. And then I said, uh, what have you experienced? And they told me what they experienced. And then I said, if God has blessed you like this, do you want God to bless your whole life? And, and then they say yes. And then I would say, well, Jesus really loves you. He is the creator of the world and he has come to die for us. And if you, you know, what blocks us are our sins. If we are willing to come to him and repent and trust in Jesus as Savior, then we can have eternal life. So I would invite them to pray. And then at the same time I say, notice how you experience God. And you can have this close relationship. First, you'll be blessed for your whole lifetime. Second, you would be able to bless other people. So when I bring someone to Jesus, I will let them know how real God is, how God can bless them. And also I will tell them, you can bless other people. Do you want to bless other people? And many people, even when they were converted, they say, yes, I want to bless other people. But not everyone is you know, diligent to follow God, but at least there are some, at least there are some that are willing to change. And then I would, you know, I, I would uh, first give them training, I would help them to overcome the problems in their life, and then I would let them watch me how to help people. And then gradually I let them help other people. So when they see that they can help people, they, they get more zealous for the Lord. So I raise up people right from conversion. And I have a team of people. I, all these people, I train them so that they see how important it is for us to serve God. So they try to motivate people uh, to serve God and respond to the needs and counsel and pray for them and they experience the peace of God. Of course, not everyone are willing to obey God, but there are always some. So in this process, we raise up people. And at the same time, I, I told them this. If we serve God and have pride, it is like we build on a foundation and you build a house but when you're building you're tearing it at the same time now do you build a house and tear it down don't people don't do that but many people who serve god do that when they serve god they have pride then they are tearing down the building if they're serving god and they want to compete god doesn't like that they're tearing down what they're doing and if they're serving God and fight with their wife or husband, then they're also tearing down. Or they don't really love people, but they just want power and money. Also, God doesn't like that. So I say, if we have a pure heart, and Jesus said, even a cup of cold water you give to a little one, you will by no means lose your reward. So Jesus say, said, it's very easy to please me. If you just love me, repent of your sins, and do anything for God with a pure heart. God is very happy. And when people know that when I do a little thing, God is happy, then they do more and more. So I raised them up right from the beginning. And also when sometimes, you know, I come across mature Christians like I go to different places, and when they experience the Holy Spirit, they say, wow, so wonderful. Now, not everyone experiences the same way. Then I tell the other people, well, you see, your brother and sister experience the Holy Spirit like that. Do you want, do you believe what they experience is real? If you believe that, then you know that God is real and you can be used by God. And so, right in a meeting, sometimes people are raised up and then they can see that in the future they can do that too. And sometimes I have them practice how to pray for people. So this is a very simple way to, to, uh, to share how... I raise up people to serve God. And in the process, I guide them. I respond to their needs. I, uh, uh, you know, how they are doing and communicate with them and support them and encourage them so that they feel encouraged. Anything they do, I always say, I'm so happy, I'm so happy to see you change. I'm so happy to see you serve God and God is very happy with you. And everything you do, God is happy and bless you this life and then bless you forever.